Hey guys, Luna here and welcome to another episode of Dot Crypto Hustle. Today we're going to talk about the 101 of finding EOS airdrop and who else? Well, better to talk about this than Kurt Braggett, the founder of White Rabbit, which is an ICO news and listing site. Hey Kurt, how's it going today? Hey, it's going amazing. I'm excited to talk about EOS airdrops Ooh. with you. EOS, your favorite topic. <laughs> Anything EOS, I'm all about it. You're like excited about the possibilities. Yeah, yeah, I'm also super excited about EOS. I feel like it's the little rebel child in the crypto community right now. It kind of is. It's like the rebel child who kind of has a lot of money too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the rich rebel child. So for all the peeps out there who's super interested about EOS platform and all the dApps that are coming out, what's the best way to find EOS specific airdrops? Okay, so this is an emerging market. So I wouldn't say that there is a number one source yet, but I think that, you know, something like EOS airdrops um, .io or EOS airdrops .co, which I built is a pretty good place to find some of these. I've been tracking a lot of them and, and making sure I check each day to add more to the list. But there are a lot of other sources for them. I would say go on Twitter, you can find them on Reddit, you can search for them. You can add Telegram channels by searching airdrops and um, you know, just keep staying up to date and even Googling you know, to see what's new and, and tweak your Google searches to recent searches by tweaking the date and um, also making sure that you have your wallet ready and loaded up with some EOS so that you'll be eligible to collect them. So EOS wallet, where do you go ahead and uh, create one? So there's a lot of different places that have EOS wallets and a lot of, I, I'm working with a lot of EOS insiders and the word on the street is basically that gray mass is a great wallet. Um, mm -hmm. There is a wallet that's coming out that I'm working with uh, that is kind of top secret right now, but it's I think it's going to be one of the best. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be one of the best ones, and I need to like get permission to start sharing the info. But it's mobile and it's really great for supporting EOS airdrops, and that's heavily needed in the market right now. Um, I like um, Exodus Wallet. I think that it's a good place. Um, they don't have major support. So some of these wallets won't support every airdrop that comes in. Some people are a little confused by that. And I know we discussed it a little bit before, but you still have collected the airdrop. Maybe your wallet doesn't show it, but you can find it in a block explorer that shows that you've received the token. And eventually the wallet will come around and, and have support for it. So you can see it right there. So is there a specific EOS communities that you can tap into? I mean, I guess Reddit's probably a good place to start, but like, what are some of the top EOS communities? Because I'm sure that's where you would also find airdrops that are getting traction, right? Yeah, you know, I think that there's a lot of stuff emerging. There is one Facebook group I really like, actually. It's one of the larger ones. It's just called EOS, and it's on Facebook. And... I feel confident that they will be covering airdrops, but mm. if you're really interested in airdrops specifically, eventually you're going to want to be part of a listing site that has maybe uh, reminders or something. Um, and so that would be like EOS uh, airdrops.co. We have uh, tracking over 100 of them right now. Um, and then get ready, make sure you're ready by the date, make sure you know what you have to do to collect them. Um, you know, another good way to figure out where the EOS airdrops are is just to like follow along with the EOS DAP. So for example, EOSindex.io has a lot of the DAPs that are coming out on EOS mm -hmm. and generally the DAPs are associated with an airdrop. Could you go on GitHub to see some of the DAPs that are coming out? I think that, okay, so here, here's the reality behind that. I don't think it's a great discovery tool for, for DAPs and for, um, for airdrops, for example. But I do think that it is true that all of those DAPs are generally housed on GitHub, but that would be like a secondary thing you might do if you're interested in looking at the code and how things work and you want to pop open the hood. Um, but as far as like community engagement, it's more about a developer focused way of looking at it. But 
you probably could if you were like doing some investigative journalism, like figure out information before Twitter. But like we're talking like you have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure that shit out, you know? Yeah, I mean, I do remember reading somewhere that GitHub is a good way to make sure that a coin has traction by looking at whether or not they have active files versus a scam, which they wouldn't, they would just have a GitHub account and then no activity. So making sure that there's activity is a good way of cross checking the information. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I believe that's true. Having a development and engineering background, I think that I would trust a project that has more contributors and active contributors. And you can see pretty quickly by hopping in their GitHub and clicking on pulse. And then you can see uh, how much activity is truly happening. Like I've been able to figure out that coins are just kind of fizzling out by looking at their pulse, which is analytics on how much contributions there are. On and GitHub, can, right? On GitHub, yeah. yeah. And, and going to GitHub pulse and, and you can see like, wow, there was a lot of contributions. Like one thing that's just a typical thing that I've seen is that right before the crash just recently happened, or not the crash, but maybe the, the major correction after February, um, I saw a lot of people that were really excited about contributing. It's weird, like developers are all like, yeah, we're all about open source and we're not like greedy at all. But like the, when the price goes up, it's like the contributions go up. And then when the price goes down, you see like the contributions go down. If you're not about money, then like, how can that happen? I mean, I'm not trying to call them out. I, I love all these guys, but you know, like you can see that the the contributions correlate with the price sometimes. So. Well, I feel that's happening as well with the overall chatter as well on Facebook, because yeah. probably a lot of crypto enthusiasts on Facebook are more newbies. So a lot of these yeah. groups I've been active on. I just don't see as much traction as I probably was in December where my feed was blowing up every day. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, sure. So another question I want to ask you though, um, two, 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 what did I want to ask you? Forgot. Oh, I like your, uh, your, your rings right there. Uh -huh. yeah. yes. You can do some damage with that thing. Oh, this is my weapon. <laughs> nice. I like it. Yeah. It's a friend of mine from New York city. Bejewels, a little plug, and mm -hmm. uh, she's an amazing jewelry designer. I've had this for 10 years. <laughs> wow. No, I think I've seen it before. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I always wear it. That's why I always wear it. Oh, I want to ask you a naughty question. Okay. Uh, which EOS DAB are you currently looking at? <laughs> oh, that's a really good question. So I, I'm a big supporter of my homies. So one that I'm hoping really takes off is one called Karma. Okay. Um, and that's uh, built by Dallas uh, Rushing and his team, and they were just featured in EOS IO. I think that actually the EOS IO uh, medium is a great source to kind of look at like emerging DApps. Yeah. And they were just uh, featured in EOS IO, and uh, Dallas also has a YouTube channel that's pretty good, and he covers a lot of EOS topics. So I'm looking out for them, and what Karma does is they have an application that allows people to kind of be good Samaritans and get rewarded in their tokens, um, and the token is called Karma. So I'm, well, I'm pretty excited. How does that work, Dan? So I, I think that the, the concept is like someone might – post a you know mission or some kind of humanitarian type task and people who contribute can earn karma through that um there's there's a lot of details that i don't know yet because they haven't launched um, but that's one dap i'm excited about there's a whole suite of uh eos based games i just tried one out from one of the eos core devs it's also very secret but i thought it was pretty cool because let me see, what can I say about it? It seemed like one of those old school like Nintendo games that's like kind of medieval, like those like storyline games. I forget what they're called, but I saw one of those that looked pretty compelling. I think games are gonna be a really good thing for, for EO. So I'm excited about some of that stuff. It's really interesting you say that because um, I read this whole article. Roam, one of the founder of Crypto Kitties, was talking about the importance of gaming in the crypto space and how it's definitely going to help with mass adoption so you're absolutely right games and that is we we should be doing a video on that by the way yeah. that's a topic that i have a lot to say about but yeah i agree 100 gaming is is everything well games and porn 
So I think yeah. that that's what that's <laughs> what's so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's actually I feel like like I'm I'm really surprised that there isn't more porn related to crypto. It's not like my thing or something, but I think that isn't Verge. That's, that's what grew. That's yeah. what grew the internet. So I'm, I feel like there's something weird. Like maybe the internet's changing where now nerds are going to drive the market and not porn or something. You know, so. I, yeah. So, I mean, it's, and also what's really interesting is that a lot of the early adopter in, in cryptocurrency are usually gamers because it's a great, I mean, because they understand the concept of tokenization, especially when you're in a game and you're trying to like collect coins. I mean, Mario brothers, right? Yeah. And I, I think that there's a, a really good reason for that because, you know, these traditional institutions are like, well, let's digitize these you know, assets, but like gamers are already there. They're assets that are in their games and these things they've earned, they're already digital. It's just that they don't have any liquidity. So if I do all this work to like, you know, earn this magical sword in some game, like it's just locked up in that game forever. I want to be able to sell it. And some other kid wants to be able to buy it, you know, but exactly. there's no market for it. So that is going to change for sure. Yeah, so I guess that's a little trick there. Look for EOS gaming airdrops. Yeah, yes. for sure. Little and play tip. games and earn and the tokens early so that, and not investment advice, but earn them early so that if there's a high demand on them, maybe they'll appreciate. You never know. Yeah, exactly. Not investment advice. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Do we even have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should just put that in bold in the description. Yeah, just like plastered over our faces. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Awesome, Kurt. Well, thank you for the debrief. Lots of uh, great knowledge bombs here. Where can we follow you on social media? So on Twitter, I'm at Kurtybot, and you can look at our site, White Rabbit ICOs, at whiterabbitICOs.com. And I'm also on YouTube. That's White Rabbit ICO Discovery. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, That Crypto Hustle for more goodies on a weekly basis. Bye guys. Bye Kurt. Okay. Bye -bye.